Welcome to round 10 of the Slingshot Racing Cup. We're back at Gimli Motorsport Park in Manitoba, Canada. And as you can see, once again, absolutely beautiful sunny weather with blue skies. About 26 degrees outside today. We've had nothing but awesome weather so far for this entire Slingshot Racing Cup Championship. Drivers just making their way out to the grid now. Prior to each race event, they're given a 10-minute warning, and then they have 10 minutes to make their way out to their start position whenever they see fit, at which point in time after the 10 minutes, the green flag will fly. And if this is your first Slingshot Racing Cup event, that green flag doesn't mean race start, it just means the start of the formation or warm-up lap. Each driver will then go around slowly in a controlled fashion around the circuit, taking the time to get themselves mentally prepared and warm up their brakes and tires and everything else. Uh, race gets started by a red flag after they after the warm-up lap and they've come back to their start position. Then uh, all eyes will be on Dwayne Entz, our race director, and he'll raise the red flag, signaling, get ready, you got three to five seconds till the race starts. And then the moment that red flag drops, the race is underway. We've got a 10-race season in the Slingshot Racing Cup, and it's actually two races per event. So that means there's five event days. We're on the last event day here, the last day, race number 10, everything on the line. Just waiting for that green flag to come up now. Field's full of mainly non-pro drivers, except for one, which is David Rickard, who's our professional driver and, uh, and driver coach. He's the only one allowed. It's actually the first uh, world's first championship featuring the slingshot, which is made by Polaris. Uh, we'll discuss that a little bit more later. As you can see, green flag's going. Rickard lights up the rear tires to begin the formation lap. Why don't we take a look at our starting order for round 10 of the Slingshot Racing Cup. Starting in first position, our professional driver, David Rickard, who qualified with a time of 1 minute, 10 seconds, 0.124. Alongside in second, his year-long nemesis, number 86, Miles Kraut, Qualified in a time of 110.540, a great time. Starting row two, number 88, Kurt Entz with a 111.577. And alongside Kurt is number 35, Adam Crooks. Qualified with a time of 111.761. In fifth, number 15, Darren Miller. Qualifying in a time of 113.843. In sixth, number nine, Paul Thiessen a time of 114.111 and the fourth row on the grid in the 125 Friesen Drillers Racing Slingshot Peter Friesen in a time of 116.046 and rounding out the field number 12 Randy Wogamuth a time of 118.970 most drivers in the field have a GoPro on their vehicle allow us to closely follow the action unfortunately Wolgamuth is the only driver who doesn't have one on a slingshot at this point in time. Drivers just making their way around the final turn. We'll look for their grid spot then. Rickert will be the first one back on the grid. And then we'll await the red flag with great anticipation. This is the most nerve-wracking time for any driver. Once the race gets underway, it's all bets off and everything is coming at you so fast. You don't even have a chance to get nervous. But now is the moment when you only can sit and wait. Your visor starts to fog up as the breath deepens and you wait with anticipation for that red flag. Everyone's waiting for it to go up now. All eyes on Ants, the race director. Red flag up! And the race is underway. Rickard gets a good start. Kraut following with an equally good start. Crooks looks like he's going to be gaining slightly on Ants. Down to for turn one they go. It's Crooks pulling up alongside of Entz. It looks like he might have the inside line. Rickert looks like he's going to maintain first position. Kraut slots him behind, and you can see Crooks goes through into third place. Entz forced to settle for second, but look just up ahead. First and second, nose to tail. Here we are riding with Kraut in second place. Can he get a run going into turn number three? Doesn't look like he's quite going to be close enough to do it this time, but a wonderful start. All drivers making it through turn number one safely. The most important thing, now it's off for eight laps of intense racing in the Slingshot Racing Cup. Riding with Crooks, you can see first and second pulling out a slight little lead on third and fourth and the rest of the field. It's Rickert followed by Kraut. 
Entz in fourth place now. Crooks in third. Miller looks like he got jumped as well at the start by Thiessen. Thiessen in fifth, then Miller, then Friesen, then Wolgamuth. You can see just on the top part of the screen, we're on lap one of eight. Use that as a guide throughout the race just to let you know where we're at in terms of laps completed. Riding with Crooks now, trying to get a good run out onto the front straight. One of the best places to pass here at Gimli Motorsport Park is at the end of this front straight, going into turn one, as well as turn number five, leading out onto the back straight of the circuit. Starting lap number two now, down to turn one we go. Kraut getting a little bit of a run on Rickert, but not quite enough to pull up alongside this time. Riding now with Crooks. You can see they've lost a little bit of speed here on lap number one, moving on to lap two. One and two, you can see Crooks all fun and games here. He's a little bit frustrated the first two places have moved just out of his reach. Kraut hustling Rickard along into turn number three, heading into the W section on the racing circuit. Riding with, oh my goodness, you can see both Miller and Thiessen getting out of shape there. Thiessen just ahead of Miller at this time. Kraut hustling Rickard along into turn five. Another one of the great places to pass on the exit of turn number five. There's a concrete patch right at the midpoint of the corner, which really makes it dis difficult to accelerate coming out of that. Rickert has uh, Becca Cherniak in the passenger seat for this race. Becca is a marketing specialist with Polaris. Uh, the only other passenger in this race is riding with Crooks, and that's his daughter, Maya, who's going along for her first ride in an actual race event. Here goes uh, Miller now down into the final turn. Down onto the front straight. Apologies, that was actually freezing. Kraut trying to get that run, but doesn't look like he's going to be able to do it on this lap. Rickard through turn one, just ahead of him. On lap number three we go. Everyone driving a 2017 Slingshot SLR, except for Entz, who actually just has a one-year older model, but has proven to be exceptionally fast with it. Each Slingshot, it's, it's a three-wheeled vehicle, uh, roadster, is what Polaris is calling it, is made by Polaris. 173 horsepower. You can see just how close first and second are to one another. Again, a little bit of a gra gap back to Crooks. Down into turn five. Crow trying to get something on the exit of turn five. Look how close that is. He's right on the rear wheel of Rickert. Doesn't look like he'll quite have enough dirt kicking up all over the place. Tight battles throughout the field as here's Miller just behind Thiessen. And here's Entz just behind Crooks. So you've got first and second, third and fourth, and fifth and sixth, nose to tail, right throughout the field. Friesen and Wolgamuth rounding out the field in seventh and eighth. Kraut looking like he's trying to get a run this time. Each slingshot using all 2.4 liters in the Ecotec four-cylinder engine pulls up the fourth gear of his five-speed manual transmission. Coming up along on the inside, Kraut trying to make it work this time going through turn one. Has the inside line. Can he stick his nose in there? No, a little bit of oversteer. Rickard shuts the door on him this time. Kraut going to try and come back here through the kink and heading into turn number three. Sometimes it works to get a run on in this section as well, but looks like he lost a little bit on the exit there. Compromised just due to his line and wanting to make that pass happen in turn number run. But you can see why Kraut is so close here. Put in the fastest lap on lap number three, a 1 minute 10 seconds, 0 0.802. Just about three tenths off of the qualifying speed. So they're all pushing quite a bit here. Riding with Entz now, Crooks just up ahead. Crooks, you can see, just running a little bit offline, about one vehicle length, allowing Entz to get a good run, as mentioned here in turn number five. A great place to be able to make a move on the exit. Ah, oh, Entz just trying to wheel his vehicle along, get as much speed as he can out of it. Not this time. Pulls it back in, and if he can get a good run here out of the final turn on the circuit, then he can always got the chance to die bomb him going into the uh, turn number one. Each slingshot is prepared. It's a stock vehicle, except it's prepared with a racing seat, a Sparkle race seat, four point racing harness in there as well and then drivers each have safety gear uh, with a fire retardant helmet suit and shoes and gloves just to be extra safe kraut tucking up right up behind rickard here first and second nose to tail kraut does have some speed here he's got to run on rickard going into three can he oh break him going into turn number three looks like he's alongside rickard's being gentlemanly here giving him a lot of room on the inside Crow trying to hang on there, a little bit of oversteer. Can he go on the outside? No, he's going to try the inside. Rickard shuts the door. Gentlemen, no more. Lap five presenting some awesome racing here. Exiting the infield section onto turn number five. Crow not quite close enough to get a run on this lap. But oh, oh and here's Entz. Entz looked like he could be close enough. Crooks, a little bit of a poor exit in turn number five, allowing Entz to get a little bit of a thought. That's two laps in a row here. 
for Ence. Ence is just, he can feel it now. If you can just stay close enough, capitalize on the next mistake that Crooks makes. Looks like that turn five could provide something of an opportunity for him to be able to make it work. Down onto the front straight they go, starting lap number six in the Slingshot Racing Cup. An overall championship that's exceptionally close at this time. We've got an overall championship and then a participant championship. And the only difference is that the organizers and the professional driver have been removed from the standings in the participant championship category. Kraut just a little bit behind at this point. It looks like Rickert's had a pretty good lap just to stretch his legs a little bit on lap number five. Rickert did a 111.2 on the previous lap. Kraut's a 111.4. So Rickert able to pull out two tenths of a second. And here he knows turn five. He's been waiting all lap for turn number five to see what he could do to Crooks this time. Crooks on the brakes, trying to line it up into turn five. Again, running a little bit wide. Ents, can he push in? You can see him gaining the whole time. Just trying to lean forward in that seat up into third gear. Not quite having the acceleration he needs, but he is pulling. He is getting closer, but not quite enough. On the outside, it's a flat out, very fast turn, heading up back towards the last corner. Not quite a space that you want to throw your slingshot in unless you want to make some enemies. Uh, not a good thought and ends. Very smart, learning a lot throughout the year. Pulls off from the move. There's Thiessen, Miller in sixth place, Friesen in seventh, going on to the front straight. And here's Rickert. Rickert, fastest lap of the race, 110.687. You can see how that translates to space on the track with Kraut now. Rickert's opened up that lead. Something that every driver wants to do, but look at Entz. Kraut would love to open up a bit of a lead here. Or Crooks, sorry, would love to open up that lead. Entz right on the tail. You can tell he's waiting. Look at Crooks working that steering wheel, sawing away. He knows turn five is coming up. All he has to do is get through turn five all right. If he could just get a little bit of a gap before turn number five. Here's five, riding with Entz. Crooks under brakes. Again, a little bit wide, Entz. He's trying to seize the moment this time. He's alongside. Great exit by Entz. I think he can do it this time. Entz pulling up, grabs third gear. Crooks, third gear, and he's not going to be able to hold him off. Crooks lets Entz go by, but can Entz, or Crooks answer back going into the final turn here? It looks like he is a little bit too far behind. Some oversteer under braking when releasing that clutch, and Entz seems as always going to scamper off into the distance. Third place, the final podium position of the race event. Lap eight of eight, the final lap of the race we're on right now. Riding with Kraut into turn one. He's gained a lot on Rickard on this last lap. Does he have some miracle in his pockets that he can pull out? Going into turn number three now. Rickard just doesn't have to make a mistake. All he has to do is drive clean. But look at this, someone has made a mistake. It's Miller right back up along Thiessen. Thiessen had pulled out a bit of a gap. But, oh, Miller, a little bit of oversteer. In the midpoint of the corner, it looks like Thiessen did have a bit of an error there. He was 1.8 seconds slower on that previous lap. Oh, and speaking of errors, Crow trying everything he can, risking it all on this lap, last lap. All or nothing, a lot of oversteer in turn number five. Rickert heading towards the last turn. Crow trying. He's going to outbreak himself possibly in this turn. Whatever he can do, down to second, through the gear. He has closed up quite a bit. Rickert going out at the front straight. And it looks like he's going to be able to do it. Rickert takes round number 10 of the Slingshot Racing Cup. High fives with Becca in the passenger seat. More great racing. Ends crosses the line. And here comes Chris Crooks taking the checkered flag in fourth position. Great sportsmanship here between first and second. A fist bump. Crooks and his daughter. Everybody happy with a wonderful season of racing in the Slingshot Racing Cup. Crossing the finish line here as well. Our last few contenders. It ends up being Rickert, Kraut, Entz, Crooks, Thiessen, Miller, Friesen, and Wolgamuth rounding out the field. And the championship now. It's time to uh, figure out where everyone finished in the championship standings. Again, overall championship sees Rickert take first place with 90 points. Kraut second with 81. And Crooks in third with 66 but the participant championship is what everybody has their eyes on and there it was Kraut who managed to pull off the championship win with his 81 points Kurt Entz finishes in second place and in third place rounding out the podium 
is Paul Thiessen. We're going to stick with the shots here for a little bit. There's going to be an award ceremony coming up at the end of the day. You can see Kraut riding with the 2017 champion Deckel on his front windscreen. Ecstatic with results. Has his whole office and staff and girlfriend and friends. Everyone's come out to see the results of today's race. Wonderful family and friendly atmosphere here at Gimli Motorsport Park throughout the entire season. And I think we might even see some donuts here yet. It's been Rickard's signature move at the end of every race. And at the end of the season, I'm sure we could expect no difference as Rickard pulls off. There you can see him lining up for some celebratory donuts. Drop that clutch, floor the throttle, and enjoy the ride. <laughs> and look at this. It's Crooks getting in on it too, celebrating the end here. As is Kraut, we've got a triple donut action going on here. Great stuff. And then says, I'll take some of that too. He's doing his fun games on the front straight. Creating that wonderful tire smoke. So again, a wonderful championship here with the Slingshot Racing Cup. Came right down to the wire. Stick around and we'll show you some of the final celebrations here with our year-end award ceremony. Back in a minute. Welcome back. As you can see, the award ceremony has just gotten underway here on the front straight after a successful inaugural season of the Slingshot Racing Cup. Miles Kraut on the top step of the podium taking the championship, the participant championship. Kurt Entz in second. Paul Thiessen rounding out the podium in third spot. Wonderful photographs provided by Karin Burnt Photography. You can see Rickert now joining the guys up on the top step of the podium. Rickert taking the overall championship. Such an awesome season of racing here amongst all drivers and guest drivers for that matter. Jeff Stoughton drove in one of our races. He's a world curling champion and briar champion. Riding along was Caitlin Laws as well. Rode, rode to a race victory with Rickert. She's an Olympic gold medalist. And then many other Ride with David contest winners who rode in his passenger seat throughout the year. And a lot of family, friends, volunteers, and other guests what it needed and took in order to make this happen. You can see them coming out onto the front straight to watch the festivities. Lining up for another picture here. The four winners being joined by co-organizers Randy Wogamuth carrying his Diet Pepsi as usual and Adam Crooks of SER Sport and Recreation in Steinbach, also driving this year. Gimli really did a great job providing some wonderful racing for us. You can see Darren Miller and some of the other drivers now making their way into the picture. Kim Friesen, Peter Friesen who drove today, Jason Friesen, and then missing today is Michael Friesen who wasn't able to make it out for this race. Friesen Drillers Racing really doing an awesome job throughout the year. Four siblings who took part in the championship all shared one vehicle, so definitely at a disadvantage in terms of having time in the racing vehicle, but advantage in terms of having fun. And they definitely brought the fun to our Slingshot Racing Cup Series. Lining up for a group shot with all our drivers wonderful to see everyone show up as friends and still leave as friends in fact i think a lot of them developed wonderful friendships throughout the year handshakes all around high fives hugs great to see that in the world of auto racing i think what's left is the champagne <laughs> Uh, great to see all the family and friends out celebrating with our participants. Back on the podium now. Looks like Kraut's uh, pulling off a move out of the Formula One book. Daniel Ricciardo. He's going to pull off a shoey here. I think a little bit of champagne in the shoe. That's disgusting. Nothing but fun here in the Slingshot Cup. Kurt, <laughs> Kurt Hens has his uh, bottle of champagne open. Late to the party, but never too late to spray the champagne. You 
know, everyone showed up here without a lot of racing experience, or actually nobody had any racing experience. Some had a lot more track time in driving high-performance vehicles around a racing circuit. Um, but every single driver, from Kraut finishing first in the championship right on down to those who finished towards the back, did a phenomenal job. <laughs> Rickard avoiding the champagne there. You know, Gimli Motorsport Park actually played to uh, a little piece of history back in 1983. An Air Canada flight heading to Winnipeg actually ran out of fuel, fuel and was dubbed the Gimli Glider. Managed to find its way to the airport in Gimli and then landed on the runway. It was an old Royal Canadian Air Force runway. They thought it was abandoned, but turned out it had been made into a racing facility. So fortunately, no one was severely injured. Um, and, and some of the racing marshals actually ran over with... Uh, with fire extinguishers to put out the flames that came from that airplane. There you can see Becca Cherniak from Polaris handing out the championship award to Miles Kraut. You'll see the award in a second. Really nicely designed by SAR Sport and Recreation in, in back. Doug Deason handing out the second place award to Kurt Entz. And we'll have Doug White with Polaris handing out the third place award to Paul Thiessen. Such a wonderful job to have the Polaris executives come out to participate in this championship that was dreamed up by Adam and Randy at SAR and supported by David Rickard of Rickard Racing. Rickard getting into the group shot now and joined by Crooks and Randy making their way over also. Top three winners with Polaris and the race organizers. Great shot to see, and there you can see the wonderful awards created by SAR. Oh, Rickard getting ambushed with the champagne now. You know, most of these drivers They've all got regular day jobs. Some are retired. They come from all walks of life. All kinds of backgrounds yet to come together for their mutual enjoyment of wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. Really cool to see. Back on the podium here are two overall championship winners. Kraut and Rickert. It took a lot of people to put on the Slingshot Racing Cup. From David Rickert himself with Rickert Racing. The SAR Sport and Recreation. Randy Wolgamuth, Adam Crooks, all of their friends and family. 5.30 a.m. wake up calls, getting to the track and making food for everyone. All our other volunteers, our photographer, Karen Burns, our race director, Dwayne Entz, all the corner marshals, timing and scoring, Jim Turner, Al Marcou out at the front gates. To everyone, thanks for making the Slingshot Racing Cup a success. See you in 2018.